Hey guys, welcome to Gusto TV, and here today is Popcorn Crushers. So on today's episode, we're going to be reviewing a very, very fantastic. Okay, let me not use the word fantastic because that's on my own opinion. But Helen, what movie are we reviewing, please? I'm a ghetto the saga. I'm a ghetto the word. Saga, not, I'm a ghetto not the word. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no nini in this one. There's okay. no nini in this one. Thank so, I'm a ghetto the saga, as you all know, was directed by our one and only Funke Akunlele and JJC Skills. Those two are something else, in like short, the it's whole husband thing. And wife, so. Yeah, it's, a, it's, let me say, let me know it's what the family thing, <laughs> but they actually did magic in I'm a ghetto the saga, although. Let me not give you the full gist. So, basically, I'm a ghetto the saga was released. This year, January. <laughs> you caught me off guard. <laughs> no matter. This Omogeto was released in the year 2020, December 25th, on Christmas Day, gong gong. On that day, like, I had to go to the cinema to go see it myself. So Omogeto the saga was released on the 25th of December 2020. And it made it to the box office. Like, it was so fantastic to the extent that it got 468 million box office. Wow, interesting. That was that was at 26th January 2021. Yeah. So it actually made a record by surpassing the wedding party, and that was huge. So so huge. So tell me, what was the storyline about? Okay, so let me just first say that the reason why it's all over right now we know it came out last year mm -hmm. but it's all over right now because it's officially on netflix and people that did not have access to you know go to the cinema mm -hmm. to queue up and everything you can now like watch it on netflix so yeah netflix and it's on popcorn to... okay but then again the plot is about you know it's a sequel yeah yeah so we had a part one mm -hmm. so there's a part two the saga is part two and yeah. the plot is about you know twins that have conflicting characters characters rather so one is a very notorious person mm -hmm. and she's always in the street and everything showing ruggedity yeah. and you know basbos and everything and then there, there's this other you know mm. twin that was really sophisticated calm. and she's calm and very very non-violent related at all <laughs> at all and it was interesting to see how funke was able to play both parts really yeah. really well so i feel like you know the plot was really played out well the whole message was we got the message actually she was trying to say violence is not everything and that you know a whole lot go down a whole lot actually go down in the streets of nigeria and Trust she literally you. played you know maybe not all of it but we saw you know a part of what have been going down we saw we saw um prostitution yeah we saw um violence popo. we saw um the fact that they were using india hem and everything we saw, and all that. We, saw we saw the name they call police popo and everything <laughs> so the message was well driven yeah she also featured some amazing cast we have nancy sime we have Enola badmos we have Alexi kubo and lots more and the movie was actually actually really really nice for me i i love it so much but you know, in everything, there just has to be a but. When it comes to the cinematography, like, it was a little bit off for me, but it's not all that bad, though. But it was a bit off. And the coloring was just too much, man. Like, what's up? The colors were just different kind of hair. Like, it was too much. Too, too much. But she did a great job. She and JJ skills, they actually killed it. They tried. So tell me, what's your best scene? Like, no, you know your best, but your favorite scene in the whole thing. Okay, my favorite scene was when they served that breakfast. When <laughs> they and me or Colin were who happened to be her boyfriend. <laughs> Femi Stone. Femi Stone in the movie, you know, broke her heart. And then at that point, she was like, oh, I'm <laughs> like, damn. Okay. No matter okay. how rugged you are, oh breakfast will still find you. <laughs> And then, though, I love the fact that her gang stood by her. Yeah, there was loyalty in play. Yeah. yeah. The loyalty was so much. But Busty and Yola Badmos, <laughs> she was scared at some point. Yeah. But I okay, love the fact scared. that I love the fact that her friends were always there. Yeah. They and were my, always my, there. Yeah, my favorite um, actor was Mario. 
Okay. I'm not going to say his real name so that you guys go and watch and be looking for who is Mario. <laughs> <laughs> so Mario was to play the junkie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I feel like he delivered it really, really well. Perfectly I've well. never seen him in that kind of character before. Like he played it perfect. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He he's his own well, character I agree was. With you. No, I I I do because <laughs> he actually tried. He killed it. Okay. He killed it. But then again, when I felt um Lefty was emotional yeah. and still has that whole rugged vibe in her was when her sister Ayumide was kidnapped. Yeah. I saw how she strived so hard to save. to save her sister. And I saw that 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 whole love like she, the whole bond was just there like when she was saying oh i never really know my sister like that and this is this is and she stood by her friends just to make sure they were all safe even when they tried to help her in um rescuing her sister from yeah. femi stone yeah. in court or femi stone with the whole kidnapping plan and it was really really nice it yeah. was really, really really nice so what's your worst thing um, I'm not done with my best thing. Okay. So you have a lot. <laughs> so we had we had stunts too because there was action. It was mm-hmm. action packed because we saw how you know at at one point they were you know tackling people that wanted to you know impute must in an <laughs> area that is not even theirs. And then there was this guy that cut his hand. Yeah, that, uh, that was crazy. Do you know, do that? Your stunt was amazing, top notch, hmm. guys. They did what? really, really, really well. I, mean, I cannot try cut my hand for any trauma. Of course, it's not real now. Come on. Some, eh? <laughs> but then no, again, some people are really crazy. Things, crazy. Are the things that actually happen in the street. Yeah. When you hear, you know, courtist fights, <laughs> or when you hear this gang fighting with this gang, a whole lot of things actually go down. Day, and I like oh. the fact that she was able to depict. Even if it's not completely, but she was able to show us how dangerous it is yeah. down the street. And <laughs> the street is for the bravest of hearts. So guys, that's it. So my worst thing, mm-hmm. my worst scene would be where they kidnapped the white lady. <laughs> was, it was it was so easy. It was <laughs> like... No yes, offense, Kamaya no. bees, like, no, they carry less. No, like, wait, wait now. So it happened that these people, like, they are not all that educated. Mm-hmm. So it happened that they were able to swiftly okay. kidnap a white lady from a standard hotel like that. And I felt like that part was really rushed. They didn't show us how it all happened. That part was really, really rushed. And then another thing for me was, you know, another thing for me was the fact that she was gathering all resources that she could it was obvious that she was just packing friends into it like she didn't really give upcoming actors or actress to like feature in it because most of the people that were in there were you know just mostly her cast from yeah she didn't really give room for others like that aspiring to work with her and everything i didn't really see you know all of that So, so that's it for me though and seeing Ewa in the movie, seeing her husband, JJC, yeah. seeing um Naramali. Yeah. And Yemi Alade did a great job though. Like Yemi Alade also was in the movie and she did she, she it. Was it's not Naramali, Slim Case. Slim Case was there. Yeah. Naramali was there. I think I saw Naramali. Ah, Ebu. You mean like You sure? <laughs> well we yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave that for you guys in the bed. <laughs> Go and watch it and let us know. Exactly. But then again, watch it. but then again, good stuff. Good stuff. So. Yeah, it's actually good. And I love the fact that it actually stayed on number one on Netflix for a while. Yes. You stayed at number like one. Like people went and crazy. That's, that's fantastic. That it, that's you know? fantastic. Yeah. So basically that's it for Omogeto the Saga. So please go watch Omogeto the Saga and we'll, you will not regret it. Kokon. Like you will not regret it. Funke, Funke is versatile and she really showed us that in the movie. Yeah, yeah. You being lefty, you being Naomi Day, like she she knew this, she tried. Kudos to you, Mama. God bless you. Well, for me, I felt like the comedy was what she really focused on. Mm-hmm. And she did get it. You know, she got she got it top notch. And then the whole message of, you know, you can't, you know, get away with kidnapping or Whatever crime you are committing, you yeah. know, wherever you are, you would one day get caught. That message was also, you know, 
driven really really well so i feel like at the end of the day she did good yeah she did good she delivered her message really well it's just that there's some hitches here and there but then again congratulations to funky akindele you know this one trust me you know it you know it mama yeah so wrap it up for us baby so um that's it on a scale of one to ten Ebum. if i talk now you say i'm being partial yeah it's it's yeah what did you learn from the movie more or less as come I be. You want to join them? <laughs> uh, no, 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 really. I mean, they have this their anthem of Sue May and Fasu Aju. Honestly. Well, okay. Ah, okay, okay. So you're not going to repeat it. I'm available. So what's your, what's the moral lesson for you? Loyalty and, um, basically loyalty. Okay. Her friends were loyal to the core. Yes. Yeah, so. Like, they were there for her and that's awesome. So that's my awesome. my my what I learned from the movie is the fact that you can't really it, it, it depicted that no matter who you are, you are who you are inside. Because they are twin. Yeah. One is this and one is the other. We can't say okay because they are twin, they have to come with the same character. Everybody is built and wired. Yeah, I get coconut do. Honestly, I get is built and wired differently. So we just have to, you know, have different approach yeah. to approach different people true <laughs> you guys will make it true, true. so guys that that's it for me guys so on that note we'll be rounding up today's review so you come your way next time please leave a comment on what movie you want us to be reviewing next so until yeah. you come your way next time i remain helen and i remain one and only nefisat peace out, peace out.